<laughs> oh, Mr. Snowman. Oh, didn't see you there. I was just finishing up my book. But if you're a fan of a good book, check out our Summer Stream series on YouTube. You'll find a lot of good stories there. Ugh, how rude of me. Let me introduce myself. My name is Rajan, and I'm the DCM's birthday party and facility rental supervisor. On the 10th of each month, the DCM is celebrating that it is 10. And this month, we want to give a present to you. So we sat down and we thought, what was one of our most popular experiments? It was the Skittles Rainbow Experiment. Everybody loves using candy as art, and this is no different. We sat in our remake lab, and we thought, and we repurposed, and now we have Glossy Skittles Painting. It's unique, and you get to use candy as art. Let's go ahead and take a look at the supplies. All right, supplies for our Glossy Skittles Painting. What do we need? Well, I'll tell you what we need, what we really, really need. And that's not much at all, to be honest. There's only five different things that you need. And since there's only five, we're actually gonna go over them in Spanish too, so that way we can learn a different language while we are painting. So first, what we need is a sheet of paper. The paper is going to be where we actually paint. In Spanish, a sheet of paper is hoja de papel. So the H, when it's at the beginning of a word, is pronounced silently, and the J, wherever it is, is always pronounced silently in Spanish. So one more time, you could say it with me. It is hoja de papel. The second thing that we will need is a paintbrush. So in Spanish, paintbrush is cepillo de pintura. So cepillo actually means brush. So if you have a hairbrush, Sophia would work. The double L's are pronounced silently whenever they're together. So we have literally here, Sophia or brush. De means of, and pintura is like a picture or a painting. So brush of paint, how it literally translates. Next, what we're going to need is not one, not two, not three, not four, but five different containers for all the different colors of the skin. We're actually going to sort them out. So in Spanish, if you can, count with me, two, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. We need cinco envases. So envases is Spanish for containers. Next, what we're going to need is Skittles. Skittles, the color is actually what we're using to paint with. So Skittles in Spanish. Skittles, easy enough, right? Next, or should I say last, what we'll need is some corn syrup. So corn syrup you can find on Amazon. I personally found it at my local farmer's mar market and I didn't pay more than $3. In Spanish, corn syrup is arabe de maiz. So if you remember from up here, the word oja, sheep, the J is silent. So it's arabe de maiz. If you look at maiz, there's this word in English called maize, and it's spelled very similarly. And the word from English we get from Spanish. So we have arabe syrup of maiz, corn. So these materials are the only ones that you need to make our glossy Skittles painting. Let's find out what steps that we have to take so that we can get a painting. All right, what steps do we make? I hear you guys, I hear you guys, Roger, just show us how to make the painting. Don't worry, I'm excited too. Step number one, you wanna sort your Skittles by color into containers. So this is gonna give us all of our different colors and it's the perfect activity for our little tights. Step number two, you wanna pour corn syrup over your Skittles in your container and you wanna let it rest overnight. If you wanna read it a bedtime story, tuck it in, 
go ahead and do that, but it definitely has to rest overnight. Otherwise the colors won't come into, they won't bleed into the corn syrup, excuse me. Step number three, we are going to stir to make sure that we get all the color we can after it's rested overnight into our corn syrup. And our last step, get your paper, get your paintbrush and start painting. Now that we know all the steps, I definitely know you guys aren't waiting for me to get started. So let's go to a video demonstration. Alrighty guys, I have all of my materials here that I need for our glossy Skittles painting. We have here, hoja de papel, paper, sepillo de pintura, our paintbrush. We have five containers, cinco envases, Skittles or Skittles, and corn syrup or arabe de maiz. So our first step is to sort our Skittles by color into our containers. All right, now that we have sorted all of our Skittles by color into containers, step number two is pour corn syrup over Skittles and rest overnight. So I have my corn syrup here and I'm just gonna pour it over all of our Skittles. And you just wanna pour enough to where it rises over all of your Skittles. No Skittles are left without corn syrup. I guess a better way to say this is that all the Skittles are submerged in corn syrup. All right. And then last but not least, last one. And now we can let them rest overnight. Okay. Once you've completed step number two, pouring corn syrup over your Skittles and letting it rest overnight, we're gonna stir. Stir, 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 stir. If you only have one paintbrush, you're more than welcome to use a plastic spoon in the mixies. And if you only have one paintbrush, I would recommend getting a separate cup for water so you can dip your paintbrush in so your colors don't get muddy. So we've just completed step number three, which is stir. There's only four steps. And the fourth step is get your paper, get your paintbrush and start painting. All right. Grab paintbrush and you're more than welcome to paint anything that you would like. As you can see, it comes out super glossy and there's no paint like it. With the Skittles paint, anything is possible. If you want to paint and see what palette we're working with, or you just want to be abstract, you can do that. If you want to make a realistic painting, you can do that. I made a picture here, me and my imaginary girlfriend whose eye is somehow morphed into her mouth and she's having a bad hair day. I made it with the Skittles paint though. No matter what you do, be sure to tag us on social media Hashtag DCM is 10. We want to hear from you. We want to see your masterpieces. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have fun with Skittles and hopefully I've inspired you to take an item that's not used for art 